and on the Florida friendlies. Florida friendlies are very good, and when you use Florida friendlies in your landscape, you want to make them so that they're friendly to you too as well. So you want to know about the color of your home and things in that fashion. There's many different types of greens, and there's many different types of oranges and yellows all throughout Florida's landscape, which is really nice. And if you can incorporate them into your landscape, you'll also bring the natives to you, meaning the native birds. Native birds are good because they eat the insects, which is then you don't have to spray. And I really truly want to always keep anybody away from sprays. Sprays are very good if you have to spray. Always spray with a caution label, such as horticultural oils or soap. But the best thing to do is called IPM, Integrated Pest Management. Integrated Pest Management is a term that we use in the industry, and this is where we go and inspect the plants. And instead of spraying, if we know that our threshold, if all the garden is totally ravished in, say, uh, aphids, well then, that might say, okay, it's a little over the threshold. But normally, when you have aphids, they're usually concentrated in one area. And by doing so, they're right at the top. They're not only not in the bottom, but at the top of the new growth is. Well, so by simply just trimming that off, throwing that away, you've eliminated almost 95 or better percent of an insect. Then, what I would do is just to back it up so if there's any eggs left around, is hit it lightly with a horticultural oil or a soap. And you've just eliminated it by keeping the chemicals away from it. That's one of the best things. And, and another thing I always want to remember and tell you very much is called BMP, Best Management Practices. Where we're losing a lot of our resources is in our water system. Water system, we have water that runs to our lakes and stuff like that. Imagine all the oils, the dirt, the transmission fluids, all the stuff that comes off of cars is on there. So when we have a torrential rain, it goes right to our waterways. So you being a part of this right here, if you have swales in your yard, you can have what they call rain gardening, a harvesting of the rain. So you can travel that into that garden, and then it would naturally go through there, naturally clean herself, naturally when it gets to the ecosystem into our waterways, she is clean. So that is a system that should be implemented with everybody, with everybody. Using a mulch, always remember this very simply, pine straw, pine straw, pine straw. Why that is, is eventually when this first round goes by or the second round of pine straw goes by, it's very simple. You eliminate that weeds pretty good. For example, the villages of Florida buys approximately 200,000 bales per year and puts out throughout the villages. Now, if somebody's putting down 200,000 bales a year, most likely you're probably going to say, it probably works. Well, it does, because I'm a firm believer in that, and I've been using pine straw for about 25 years. One thing nice about it, it deters fleas, it deters the ticks, things like that. So it's also helping when people have animals, because guess what? If we've been doing this, remember what I told you, if we can eliminate that lawn, we eliminate the sprays. If we eliminate those sprays, we also eliminate any bats. That's $1,200 a year I just saved you in just that little margin. So think about this. If I could save you $1,200 and we use an IPM and a BMP, I could probably save you up to, up to about $2,000 a year if we go to a micro system. Meaning, if we go to a micro system, you don't have to worry about that anymore, about that watering. Because guess what? You can water 24-7. As long as the water does not go into the air and capulate, you can use drip irrigation 24-7. But guess what? If you use what they call deep root watering this time of year, shut that water down, guess what? She'll go looking for those roots. And when she goes looking for those roots into the ground, the water gets a hold of it, guess what? When you do really get a drought, she's already down there drinking that wonderful supply of water that you gave her because we know as a good barefoot gardener, you're going to reroute all your downspouts into your garden. So guess what? That water goes into your garden and not onto the streets and into that wonderful pristine river that we have. So 25 years ago when I first got here, I could see the bottom of this lake we're standing behind right here. I cannot see that now. And that's because we did not have BMP in place. So storm water is very crucial. So remember that. You have a natural source of water coming off of your roof every time there's a rainstorm. 
So if you really want to get even a little bit more so, guess what? You can do rain barrels, and that's called equilibrium type watering, or, 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 or water that is elevated, and you don't even need a pump for that, because it's up here, and if you turn the nozzle on, it goes right back into your garden, without any motors, any timers, anything. Great, no iron, no chlorine, all that good stuff. So it's really, really a good system. Rain harvesting is really fun. And remember, I am a person. For my labors, I want to have something to get back from this. So guess what? I'm telling you to implement blueberries, blackberries, peaches, carrots, lettuce, things that you can harvest because you got to water it. Why not go ahead and use the edibles and eat them? It's really, really nice. So it's something that you really want to look at. Because if I'm going to work at something, I want something back too. So one thing nice about this too is that when you do eat the celeries, the lettuces, the, 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 the carrot tops, where should they go? Into your compost pile. You take the oak leaves, the composting tops of all the lettuce, the radishes, and anything else that you grow and compost it. Simple composting can be as simple as taking a trash bag or those bags that you use for mulch by putting all those in there, putting them out into the sun, letting the sun bake it, shake it a little bit, keep on shaking, and guess what? That will turn into what they call black gold. And that black gold, you'll pay $4 a bag called black cow, but I can produce it for you for free, just like I told you. That's simple. Amending your soils in Florida is the best thing that you could do because we are very sandy here and there's nothing available. So if you amend your soils, the food is already there, so now you don't have to fertilize. So we li limit the fertilizing, it doesn't end up back in our beautiful lakes again. So remember that, Florida friendly is a good way to go. Good for your pocket, good for your back. Can't ask for a better garden than that. Good for Florida, exactly. So is there any questions that you have about Florida friendlies? Anybody? It's okay. Florida friendlies are good. You can come on up here. You can, you can come right up here. You're only going to be in a camera shot. It's not going to hurt me. But at any rate, though, also, too, remember when everybody thinks that when they put a plant in, that they say, okay, I can water for 35 to 45 days. Well, guess what? That plant is never really truly established until two years after you put it in the ground. Two years. Because you're taking it out of an environment and putting it into the ground, and you're training her, you're weaning her, you're watering her, then she'll go out and send her roots out, and you're watering a little more, so she goes down deeper. But truly, she does never get established until two years later. You ever notice, if you look behind me, with the sables right there, see those stakeage on there right now? Well, when they took them out of the ground, they were growing in a field. That size right there, they're probably growing 15 years, because they're mostly harvested in the wild are sable palms. They're mostly harvested off of like cattle ranches. So they're growing at 15, 20 years. So now it's got a ball that's this big, but it used to be twice that size. Twice that size. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate